Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I was a little missing in action last week uh, for crafting videos and I apologize for that. I spent a lot of extra time in the garden in the evening. I was putting in a drip line and needed to get that in place before a lot of the other plants that I need to put in the garden get planted. And so big thanks to Aunt Patty who came out and helped me for an hour or so. Um, getting a lot of the um, emitter lines in place. That was a huge help. Thank you, Patty. And so now that that's done, I'm super excited. Um, I'll be able to spend a lot less time hand watering the garden and uh, will afford me time to do other things, which is always a good thing. So um, just wanted to catch up on a few things from last week. I did get my um, back ordered item from Paper Tree Ink. This is the In Stitches Spring Chicken die set that I had ordered last month and it was on back order. This die set was designed by Miss Marilyn G and it makes this most adorable little chick and the egg that she can hatch in. So I just think this is the cutest thing ever and I'm so happy to have this in my stash. We actually won't be getting any baby chickens this spring. We are full up on the uh, chickens in the coop and um, so we won't be adding any more chickens to the coop this year, but we will be raising baby pheasants again, and so that will be kind of like my baby fix for the spring. Um, so that and this die set, so thank you. <laughs> thank you for designing it, Marilyn. I'm excited to have it. Um, I also got some um, stamps from Whippersnapper. Uh, this is the Ribbons and Rounds background stamp, and it is three and a half by four and a half in size. And uh, here's the stamp itself. And I just love the detail of red rubber stamps. So that's gonna be fun to use. And I also um, picked up this one. It's called Bot Buds. And it's a boy and girl and dog robots. And then of course the girl is holding a robot balloon. So I thought that was... Um, Fun to add to my stash. This is, of course, my own illustration, but you know, it's always fun to have the stamps um, in hand as well. And then this is the boy bot um, and his dog. Uh, they also have the girl um, as a standalone image, just like the boy is a standalone image here. They also have the girl available as well, if that's something you're interested in. Um, I also have a card share for you. I do have a, I don't think I've actually shared this card. Uh, maybe I have, but it was in a spot that I put things that haven't been shared yet. So that's what makes me wonder. But um, if I have shared it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to share it again. So this is a card I made using my morning chores stamp. And she looks like this. And the image was stamped on uh, Nina Solar White cardstock and colored with alcohol markers and then I did use um, the scalloped um, stitched scallop set die set from impression obsession to die cut the image and the purple layer and then it's just set on some polka dot paper and I did use my little um, tracing wheel to add some faux stitching around the outside of that yellow layer so I think that card turned out really cute inside it says you make me happy when skies are gray this is um, from a whippersnapper cling mount set I don't remember the name of it right now. Um, I'll leave it linked down below. And then on the back, I stamped my Handmade by Anna stamp that has the chicken. So, real fun. I'm going to be sending this um, card out in the mail this week. Um, and then a few things that are not crafty related at all. Um, I picked up a new little trowel for the garden. So, totally not exciting. Um, I found this at Target. And then I also found this, um, it's called a dibber. Uh, it's for when you're planting seedlings. And so I grabbed one of these as well. And this was a really good price at Target. And so I'm happy to have those two little new tools uh, for my garden bag. Um, and then while I was out getting some more uh, potting soil and um, seed trays for my flower seeds. I did find some new seeds, so I thought I would share them and uh, can tell you a little bit about them. Um, so I found this uh, package of Durrani. It's a brand of, or a variety of zucchini that I've heard of before that got really good reviews. So I thought I would give it a try. Um, this is the first time I'd actually seen this particular variety in store. 
Um, and since I haven't actually planted my zucchini yet, um, it was a good time to pick it up so I can try that this year. Um, I also picked up this summer squash Italian variety, which is just the uh, striped zucchini. I have grown this before and it's very, very good. And I found some golden beets, so I grabbed a package of those. Those will be fun. I need to plant those this week in the garden. And then I also found this gorgeous kale. It's called Casper, and it's a green, green and white variegated kale. Uh, oh my goodness. Green and white variegated kale. <laughs> That's hard to say. Um, which I think is so beautiful. So I really love growing the blue curly kale. This is a lot like that, where it has the curly edges. And so I think this is going to be delicious to make kale chips. And uh, I think it's going to be so pretty in the garden. So I was excited to find that. I had not seen that before. And then I also finally found, I think the, the uh, seed shop was able to restock. Um, I finally found another package of the Scarlet Emperor pole beans. And I don't grow these necessarily for us to eat. I grow them for the flowers for the hummingbirds. They are gorgeous. And the hummingbirds just cannot resist them. And then I also picked up some more flower seeds. Uh, I have decided, I think, that like the coral flowers, other than sunflowers, I think the coral colored flowers in the garden are my favorite. Um, so when I saw these watermelon heaven poppies, um, I bought a package of those. I was surprised to see these were from Burpee. Aren't those beautiful? Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so pretty. I picked up a package of the pinwheel mixed color zinnias. These are just going to be like a 12 inch high zinnia, so not your great big um, tall zinnias that are t typically seen with cut flowers, but these are more just like a, bor a border type flower. Those are going to be very fun. Um, I, I saw this seed packet and I was not going to get it because I tried growing these last year and not a single seed started. Um, not even one germinated. And so I don't know if I just had a bad packet or what. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it again. This is my favorite color and I got to give them another go. So I got a package of the apricot blush zinnias. So cross your fingers that those grow for me this year. And then I picked up some, um, several packages of new Cosmo flowers. This is the double click. So these are going to have um, like more of a ruffle, multi-level, multi-layered petal for a Cosmo. Those are going to be really beautiful. Uh, I picked up this package of Summer Dreams. I've been looking for this particular flower seed for a long time. And so I was, again, surprised to see that it was available from Burpee. So I grabbed a package of those. I think those are going to be beautiful. I picked up a package of the seashells mixed colors. These uh, particular Cosmos ha are have like um, uh, tube petals instead of flat petals. You can see they're like a little tube. So they are really neat. And then finally I picked up this mixed one called Dancing Petticoats. It has the double layered flowers, it has the standard, and then the tubular seashell type as well. So those are the flowers I'm going to be um, growing, some of the flowers I'm going to be growing this year. Um, I also did pick up some more seed starting trays so that I can get some of these going and get them planted out in the garden as um, starts instead of as seeds. So that'll be fun to get those started. And I think that's about it. Um, I do have some things that I've been working on that I can't share yet. So I have been crafty. Um, I just, it's just things I can't share yet. I've been drawing for Whippersnapper and I've been designing some dies for Impression Obsession. And I've been making cards for Impression Obsession using images you can't see yet. So um, I've been crafty. It's just stuff I can't share with you yet. So, oh well, in time. It'll all be revealed in time. So I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was gorgeous here and I spent a lot of time outside. And uh, I hope you were able to enjoy some time outside and get some vitamin D as well. And... Um, I plan to be on um, sharing more videos this week. So until then, I hope you have a great week and thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!